Crabs are great for aquariums. They are scavengers and will eat organic matter such as decaying plants, dead fish, or decaying food. Because they walk and climb but do not swim, they also stir up substrate. Like land-dwelling plants, underwater plants also need their soil or gavel cultivated. Having crabs in your tank will cultivate your aquarium's greenery and help it grow. The most significant benefit crabs have to offer is probably their appetite for algae. If you have an algae problem, get a crab or two to keep it in check. These critters, as well as snails, make meals out of the stuff. Keep in mind nothing is a substitution for maintaining the aquarium yourself. Another benefit of freshwater crabs is the fun behavior they display. These guys will climb, scuttle and hide. Intriguing behavior is perhaps why fiddle crabs are one of the most popular. They are nocturnal and scuttle around quite a bit. The males are interesting in appearance because they have one small claw and the other one is supersized. Bear in mind that crabs are slightly higher maintenance than some fish. Their water has to be kept at 70 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Crabs assist in keeping water clean, probably because they cannot live in it themselves if it gets too dirty. Make sure your crabs are living in clean water and test it often. Not all crabs can live in water forever. Most need to visit dry land. You can give them the land by putting a mound of gravel in your tank. Have it sit above the water and slope underwater. Crabs crave a varied diet. Switch up their feed between flakes, frozen, and live food. They will still eat snacks of dead fish and feces in between meals. Crabs make an excellent addition to any fresh or salt water cleanup crew because they are natural scavengers. This means that they will sift through the substrate in your tank, feeding on bits of detritus that they find along the way. Freshwater crabs tend to be small, ideal for a lot of tank sizes, and they also have the bonus of keeping aquariums clean by doing the job for you. It's like having little maintenance workers around when you're not. Lastly, think of the fish already in your tank. Some fish like to eat crabs, and crabs will eat tiny, bottom-dwelling fish. It does not do an aquarium any good if its inhabitants eat each other. If you made it till the end of the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, if this information was helpful. Like, comment and subscribe.